The Great Eight presents Power Up, Plug Into Fitness. Featuring the talents of Nicole Judy, Katherine Matnack, and Akila Sanders. Office workers, executive management, college students, fitness fanatics, you spoke, we listened. Hailed by critics as the breakout management comedy of the season, Power Up will become your new obsession. So set aside a weekend, grab a snack, and come and get plugged in. Welcome to Power Up Gym. Power Up Gym is a family-owned fitness facility located in Tampa, Florida. Founded by Mr. Fit in 1980, Power Up is an ethical agency that has deep ties to its community. Power Up is guided by the strategic corporate social responsibility perspective and prides itself on creating meaningful value for itself and the greater Tampa Bay area. Power Up understands that its clients are diverse and has adopted a global mindset. The awareness of the cultural differences of its clients and staff has helped Power Up stay ahead of its competition. However, there are changes underway at the gym. Mr. Fit is ready to retire and pass down his legacy to his son, Rex. In addition to this major management transition, there are other important management decisions to incorporate. The push for cutting edge programs and enhanced technology has the gym staff scrambling to plan and enact its new strategic vision. This season on Power Up will provide delightful insights into the nature of management, social responsibility and managerial ethics, planning and organizing, organizational structure and design, leadership, motivation, and individual and group decision making. Watch this season as Power Up hilariously depicts what happens when major management transitions force employees to collaborate and work through obstacles in order to successfully implement the gym's modern mission and values. Now let's meet the cast. Mr. Fit has reached the point in his career where he would like to consider retirement and hand his legacy down to his son Rex. He has built many solid friendships with longtime gym members and employees and understands their concerns over entrusting the gym to an inexperienced manager, even if it is his own son. Therefore, he wants to make sure that he uses every opportunity available as a learning experience for his son. Mr. Fit knows that there is more to management than what you can read in a book, and as such, he is uninterested in any formal strategy, meetings, or training to ease his son's transition. He is the type of person who learns by doing and hopes to teach his son in the same manner. He can often be found waltzing in and out of the gym on the way to the golf course. His one-liners usually include a surprise strategic management decision and can cause some chaos in his wake. Mr. Fitz's humanistic approach to management is what has made Power Up a success. Can he pass this valuable trait down to his son? Rex Fit is the son of the owner of Power Up. Rex is highly educated, highly degreed, and is well read on the topic of best management practices and running a business. However, his experience is theoretical. He is a methodical planner and often tries to apply textbook solutions to real world situations. Rex is a very interested in expanding the services offered at the gym, as well as integrating technology and social media, but would prefer to spend more time researching and planning. Once Rex has planned and prepared for the change, he will implement the change and after a period of time, evaluate the effectiveness of the change. However, if something interrupts this process, Rex tends to become frustrated and has a difficult time adjusting his plan to the circumstances. Ultimately, Rex's goal is to impress his father and show that he is worthy to take on the responsibility of running the gym. Will Rex be able to overcome his worries and learn how to solve problems and think on his feet like his father? Meet Marianne. Marianne is the receptionist at the gym. She just graduated from college with the ambition to one day own and operate her own gym. She possesses both Mr. Fitt's sense of social responsibility and social intelligence, as well as Rex's book smarts and appreciation for strategic management and planning. She often acts as a liaison between the two as she helps Rex solve each week's management obstacle. 
Mayor Yan is a born leader with a clear and appealing vision. However, these very same qualities may prove dangerous should Mayor Yan take her vision to the competition. Can the application of desirable reinforcement keep Marianne at power up? BJ is the gym's longtime personal trainer on staff. He has been working as an employee of Power Up for 15 years. BJ is a stubborn employee and resistant to change. Although he is good friends with Mr. Fit, he is uncomfortable with Mr. Fit's carefree attitude when he decides to implement change. BJ uses his friendship with Mr. Fit and his longtime employment status at Power Up Gym as leverage to influence major decisions. Management will need to provide him with encouraging plan analysis in order for him to be on board with shifts in the gym's mission and values. BJ is nervous that if Rex takes over the gym, he'll no longer be in the loop. However, he appreciates that Rex is methodical in his planning. Will Rex's skills be an asset when convincing the gym's most resistant employee to consider change? Abby is the gym's yoga and Pilates instructor. She is an independent contractor who enjoys a certain amount of autonomy and doesn't want to be bothered by change. She pays rent to the facility in exchange for studio space in which to host her classes. Her only motivation is to remain profitable, and she believes changes in management strategy will not impact her. Abby believes her expert power in the field of Pilates will act as a buffer to change. However, she will soon learn that deviations in vision and planning very well may impede upon her current business practices. Here's a sneak preview of Season 1. Episode 1, The Myth of Management. Power Up Gym would like to expand its service platform, integrate technology, and enhance its social media presence. On his way out to the golf course, Mr. Fit casually requests that Rex complete a detailed cost analysis and prepare a strategic plan for this new venture immediately. A common myth of management claims that the manager is a reflective, systematic planner, but without time to plan, will Rex be able to take action under pressure without delay? Watch the full episode to find out. Episode 2, Types of Decisions. Power Up Gym would like to implement technology into its fitness systems, equipment, and services. Faced with the prospect of having to gather unfamiliar data and perform an extensive analysis, Rex is overwhelmed. He prefers program decisions and heads out to work on the company's financials instead. Rex has allowed these programmed activities to overshadow the more critical non-programmed activity. Mary Ann witnessed the whole exchange and wants to help. Can she pull this off before time runs out? Watch the full episode to find out. Episode 3, Escalating Commitment and Prospective Rationality. Power Up Jim is looking to add some new members. On his way to the golf course, Mr. Fit decides that his son Rex should take on the project. Rex does some thinking and remembers that some of their competition introduced a new program the previous year which turned out to be very profitable. He decides to try and bring this program to Power Up Gym and even hires a new instructor to teach the class. However, the new classes aren't filling up like Rex thought they would. Nonetheless, Rex decides to keep advertising the new program. Since he has put so much time, effort, and money into this project, he doesn't want to just abandon his idea. Rex keeps hoping that this project will pay off. Will Rex be able to disregard sunk costs and shut down this failed plan before it's too late? Watch the full episode to find out. Episode four, evaluating the need for change. Since Rex Fitz's idea did not work, he began evaluating options and decided to focus in on the demands from the community. One day, while Rex was in the grocery store, he overheard some shoppers say that they wish they didn't have to travel 45 minutes away to visit the KTCA gym just to go for a swim. One swap shopper explained in an outrage that her grandmother hates to travel, but in order to attend her swim aerobics in the early morning, she had to leave at 4.30 a.m. Rex realized he just witnessed his community express a need, and he may have a solution. In fact, this new idea may just be an excellent revenue generator. Was Rex able to accurately diagnose the current problem and produce a solution, 
or was this a very expensive mistake? Watch the full episode to find out. Haven't seen enough? Well, you're in luck. Episodes 5, 6, and 7 provide a whole new set of management decisions to tackle, such as leadership, using power effectively, groups and teams, taking personal responsibility for group outcomes, and motivation, consequences of employee behavior. The success of this show can be wholly attributed to its creators, Nicole Judy, Catherine Manick, and Akila Sanders. Known as the Great Eight, this trio has a shared goal of creating a project that exceeds expectations based on mutual respect, cooperation, and attention to directions and deadlines. The Great Eight has a history of success and a long resume of achievement. There is a bright future ahead of the Great Eight. Based on a strong foundation of shared values, the Great Eight optimizes the talents of each member to best fit the upcoming project. The group will continue to communicate and collaborate to ensure timely completion of all assignments and provide a superior quality work product. So get ready and get plugged in.